Hey guys, welcome to a, another commentary done by Diggity. We are going into the second grouping of the round of eight BSL season 16 Hasso League. Upper left hand corner, we have Shaolin backwards there, aka Monk as the Grey Protoss. Upper left hand corner, bottom right hand corner, we have Gauss starting as the Light Brew Protoss. This is going to be on Vermeer. So four player map crossed map positions. Could turn into an interesting macro oriented play, but on. I don't know what to say about Vermeer. It just really is kind of your stereotypical map. I think it's enjoyable just because, especially for PvP play, typically at the vertical or horizontal positions because the spokes end up being a factor where you can retreat to the high ground and allow your Dragoons to mitigate some numbers, disadvantages that way. At cross pond positions, because there's not really the high ground retreat location, I'm wondering if it actually, oddly, almost backwardsly, makes attacks a little bit more risky of that type. Looks like a very early scout from Gauss. So pylon dropped and a move out. Much more conservative interior base pylon here from Monk. And I'm almost wondering if this indicates from Gauss that he was hoping to sneak some sort of build but it looks like a gateway just being constructed. So it looks like, yes, just scouting after Pylon wants to make sure he doesn't get shut out and gets that early information advantage. Monk going to drop an additional Pylon interior to his base. So a lot of information here for Gauss to find. He's going to see both the initial Pylons and that gateway, which should make him feel very, very comfortable. Double gateway opener for Gauss. And this is going to be a challenging... At cross map, it's going to be challenging, and I do believe Monk, if he decides to go for the gas follow-up, so it looks like he did pylon, pylon, gateway, so he's got the initial zealot at least constructing. If he does just go for that cybernetics core and gas, he should be okay. Double pylon's been scouted. There's the assimilator warping in. The probe hiding itself behind the mineral lines. Oh, what's this? Is he going to try to shield battery or drop in a third gateway? Or is he just going to blockade himself in? I'm interested to see what we're going to see out of this probe and its shenanigans. Monk missing it as the Zelts walking their way. So the initial Zelts making their way across. I don't see any addition. Okay, there's a third production. But are we going to see a third gateway on location? Cybernetic score morphing in very close to at kind of an odd angle here for Monk. So Pylon's finished. Shield battery. Shield battery on the front. I am not sure how effective that will be. Probe actually going for cross spawn scout. Sees the initial zealots. Is going to find that it is a two gate opener. This could be a, a front door breach actually with the shield battery I believe. Because the zealot can initially engage. Never mind. Counter shield battery. So it's going to be time dependent for Gauss. So Zealot's going to make their way up, and unfortunately he's not pressing the issue. Three Zealot's already there on the front, and the first Dragoon should be along shortly. Two gateways there. I have a feeling this might be just a failed push, and that was invested resources from Gauss initially. And a gas deal. Look at that. A gas deal for Monk. You don't see that very often in PvP. But I like it. Also a pylon blockade at the natural expansion, so he can't just grab a Nexus, so... An additional pylon and a forge now behind this. This is turning into an interesting gambit both directions. Maybe to cannon his way up. Or to at least create some sort of blockade outside the natural. Some zealots and probes now marching their way out. A gateway, a forward gateway from Monk. He's going to have to cancel that. Maybe he just wants to have that in the way as well. And it's just larger, more beefier thing to delay that natural expansion. This is some shenanigans. I haven't, I don't think I've ever seen this. Monk at the moment in the red. The Zelt's trying to push their way up. A Dragoon is there. So the Zelt's immediately retreating. One of them has taken base damage. Photon cannons and additional shield batteries warping in. But two Dragoons already there. The Zelt's again marching up, trying to push it. Monk wandering down finds the cannons. One Zelt finally taking out that Assimilator. Looks like that gateway has collapsed as well. Two Dragoons actually making it through the gap though. Interesting play from Monk. So shooting his way out. 
they're all over the place. This is turning into some insanity right now. So we got a shield battery, a Dragoon, three Zealots blockading, an attempted pylon cannon walk up there. Dragoons marching their way towards Gauss's front. Zealots blockading there. The Zealots mixing it up, but the shield battery micro looks like it. I think this is still going to be a hold. More Zealots wandering up and more Dragoons coming in. Nice recharge. So yeah, that's it for the troops right there. The Dragoons checking that natural expansion, finding nothing. This Zealot's going to get wiped out, but there are double there are double shield batteries and two cannons now on the front. Opposite location. These Dragoons just microing their brains out. Dealing with these Zealots, it looks like at least one of them has taken a considerable amount of, amount of damage. And now we also have a probe hiding top right. So it's possible Gauss will try to grab that as an expansion. Rather than his natural expansion, more Zealots making their way out. He does have a cybernetic scorer, I believe. Yeah, right there, bottom right. The Zealots getting wiped out on the front, having some trouble dealing with these Dragoons. Some nice micro and open field by Monk. No more cannons morphing in here. But as it stands, Monk has the worker lead, is going for a shuttle to get his units out to maybe keep that expansion down with that plus the two Dragoons. This is wild. Cannon to respect potential DT play as well. Gauss, is he going to try to drop an exit to the 12 o'clock? The shuttle could see that immediately. The two Dragoons making their way across. They want to go for a breach or kill, potentially. The Zelts trying to hold the line. No Dragoons have been produced at all yet. Yeah, Nexus at the 12 o'clock. Incredible. And Citadel Vadoon from Gauss. This is about as Protoss a game as you will ever see. This is Protoss in its true PvP form right here. I gotta say, we got a Robo. We got a Reaver being constructed as well. That could be a lot of trouble. I think Gauss might have missed his window. Also... No, the Dragoons do not find the 12 o'clock location against all odds. The Dragoons checking out, looking for <laughs> shuttles out there. Cannon, high, uh, Dark Templar potentially out in the field as well. That probe getting chased down by these Dragoons. The Dragoons checking out everywhere. Yeah, maybe this was just 5D brain play from Gauss where he's like, actually, he's going to check those expansions. But now the Dragoon's making their way. They're going to find that 12 o'clock. Does he find it? Yes. Before that Nexus is able to wor warp in, the cannon or the pylon needs to be canceled, as does the Nexus. So double cancellation. Monk still holds the economic lead. However, the game's not over yet. Dragoon's marching their way across. A shuttle as well with its own probe to go ahead and take that base. An observer's out. We'll have to see what happens with the observer positioning. But Dark Templar out on the field, and that could be a wild card. Right now, I'm going to say, though, Gauss down on supply, down on unit composition. Now knows there's Dark Templar, but is in a much better position to go ahead and grab his third in comparison. So Gauss has 2DT out in the field. I think he's going to GG as soon as this Observer groups up. And also this Reaver can just go ahead and wipe out everything in Gauss's main momentarily. The Dr Dark Templar completely surrounded with that Observer. Yeah, and that should be GG. Honestly, I would expect that to just be the GG moment outright. They might be able to disrupt some cannons warping in. They might be able to disrupt that third. Gauss sending out another emergency probe. He's dropping another Nexus bottom left. But I think this is an overwhelming attack force with the Reaver in tow. Just too much. Plus, the Observer and Dragoons blocking the front. Weaver able to get a shot on the cannon. That should be sufficient for the Dragoons to pile in, wipe that out. So now it's three Zealots versus a lot of Dragoons plus the Reaver. And that is going to be an overwhelming attack force on the front, although one Dragoon does get taken out. Two Dragoons spawning. First Dragoons out for Gauss just to find an enemy force in their base. Shuttle untouched. More cannons have warped in, but they're not going to last very long. Second base up and running now for Monk. <coughs> and there was a... I hate, I hate to say it, an Artosis Pylon was waiting there to get wiped out. So, in a wild game one, Gauss ends up dropping to Monk. 
We'll see if we see more of the same in game two. What a crazy one. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, give a like and subscribe, share with a friend. Appreciate all of your viewership. Thank you for listening.